Now, aponeuroses are really important. They're just like a tendon, like your biceps attaches to your radius in your arm. We're very thin and quite um, strong tendon. But for these anterior lateral abdominal wall muscles, the tendon is very flat and forms a kind of fibrous sheath. And these are known as aponeuroses. And these aponeuroses form what's called the rectus sheath. And on the body plan, we can remember that we've got the midline running down here, and then we've got our semilunar lines. Remember those semilunar lines from the surface anatomy talk? Well, these semilunar lines form the lateral boundary of a structure known as the rectus sheath. We can see them here where we've got the midline, and we can make out the indentations of rectus abdominis, and then we have the semilunar lines here. And these form the boundaries of what's known as the rectus sheath. This is formed by the aponeuroses from these muscles coming around and interdigitating around rectus abdominis to unite in the midline. And we can see this here. Now, this is a particularly complicated image, so I'll have to take some time in explaining it. But what we can see is a transverse section through the abdomen. So it's like someone's just chopped me in half, and you're looking down onto the cut surface. So we can see what we have is the posterior aspect, which is down here. So this is at your back. And then here, this is anteriorly here. So that's where your umbilicus is. This is in the midline here. So this is where your linear alba is going to be located. And what we have radiating from the posterior aspect are these anterolateral abdominal wall muscles. We can see we have three of them again. We have one, two, three. We have our external oblique, internal oblique, and transverse abdominis. We've got these three muscles. But what you notice is the actual muscle tissue, which is here in, in orange, doesn't run all the way to the midline. The musculature stops just before it gets to the rectus abdominis muscle here. So this is where we find our semilunar lines, just here. The lateral extension or the lateral boundary of the rectus sheath, of rectus abdominis muscle here. And what we find is that these aponeuroses from muscles external oblique, internal oblique, and transverse abdominis interdigitate around rectus abdominis as they pass towards the linear alba in the midline. The formation of the rectus sheath differs, and this is where above and below comes in, it differ, differs if you're above or below the umbilicus. Now this is the level of the umbilicus, this here. This is the umbilicus just here. So if you're above the umbilicus, or if you're below the umbilicus, this arrangement is going to be different. So let's have a look. If we are above the umbilicus, we're looking at the details now of the rectus sheath above the umbilicus. And that's this one here. So imagine that this line here is coming, just like this one, coming from the posterior aspect. So it's taken higher up above the umbilicus. We're looking at the formation of the rectus sheath. We can see that here we have external oblique, here we have internal oblique, and here we have transverse abdominus. We can see that anterior, this is the rectus sheath, anteriorly, we have the aponeurosis of external oblique, and posteriorly, behind rectus abdominus, we have the aponeurosis of transverse abdominis. You just completed your first video of the world's best medical exam preparation. Lecturio brings the knowledge of worldwide leading medical experts and teaching award winners to your PC, tablet, or smartphone. Prepare yourself and check your progress with thousands of quiz questions customized to USMLE standards. And the very best you can get in touch with our medical experts personally. Visit Lecturio.com now and continue with the most inspiring medical education around the globe, anytime, anywhere.